Astronomers are continuing to track a newly spotted object, likely a comet, from outside our solar system. The interloper, named 3I Atlas, was first spotted on July 1st. It started as a whisper among astronomers, a routine observation that quickly spiraled into one of the most alarming discoveries of our time. The mysterious celestial body known as 31 Atlas had already baffled scientists for months. Originally catalogued as a comet, it behaved nothing like one. Its orbit was erratic, its core metallic, and its light signature far too uniform for frozen rock and dust. But then came the new data from the James Webb Space Telescope and NASA's Deep Space Network. Something had changed. 31 Atlas had shifted trajectory. Slightly at first, just a fraction of a degree, but when recalculated over millions of kilometers, that tiny deviation spelled one terrifying possibility, direct collision course with Mars. NASA quietly pulled teams into emergency meetings. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena began running high-precision simulations, while Harvard's Center for Astrophysics verified the numbers independently. The results matched. The data didn't lie. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Lena Chen described it best. If these projections hold, Atlas will pass within a hair's width of Mars or impact it entirely. And if it does, we'll witness energy equivalent to tens of thousands of nuclear detonations. At first, NASA hoped it was a sensor error, maybe a gravitational anomaly. But additional readings from the ESA's Gaia Observatory confirmed the course shift. Something or someone was controlling Atlas. The question was, why? Mars isn't just another planet. It's the only world where humans plan to build their first permanent colony. It hosts our rovers, orbiters, and now our future. So if 31 Atlas is truly heading there, this isn't just a scientific problem. It's a planetary emergency. In a closed-door conference call between NASA, Harvard, and international agencies, raw telemetry from 31-slash-Atlas was displayed on a massive screen. But what shocked scientists wasn't just the trajectory, it was the rhythm. Atlas was pulsing. Every 11 minutes, its brightness surged, then dimmed, like a heartbeat. No known natural comet does that. The pulse frequency matched radio emissions recorded by NASA's Deep Space Network. Precise, repetitive, intelligent. One researcher from Harvard whispered, it's almost like a beacon. Then came the energy signature. When 31-slash-Atlas passed near Jupiter's magnetic field, instruments picked up a sudden spike of ionized metal, titanium, iridium, and something else, an element not naturally found in the solar system. It wasn't ice or dust, it was machined alloy. Harvard's orbital models show 31-slash-Atlas accelerating faster than gravity should allow, like it's using propulsion, but propulsion requires intent, purpose. That's when panic set in. If Atlas collides with Mars, the impact could vaporize part of its surface, disrupt its thin atmosphere, and destroy decades of exploration hardware. But if the object slows before impact, as the latest data hints, it might not be a crash at all. It might be a landing. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has already been instructed to track the object as it enters Mars's orbital path, yet they've noticed something even stranger. Nine smaller fragments following in a tight formation behind Atlas, equidistant, evenly spaced, moving in synchronization. Are they debris? Satellites? Escorts? One thing is certain. The patterns aren't random. A classified report leaked from the European Space Agency stated bluntly, if 31-slash-Atlas maintains velocity and alignment, impact or controlled arrival will occur within 48 days. For the first time in modern history, scientists aren't just studying an object, they're preparing for first contact.
As NASA scrambled for answers, one signal changed everything. Just as 31 ATS approached within 90 million kilometers of Mars, a faint radio echo was detected, originating from Mars's surface. At first, it seemed like interference, but the frequency matched the very pattern 31 ATS had been broadcasting since discovery. It wasn't random static. It was a reply. When the team at Harvard decrypted the repeating signal, what they found sent chills across every lab in the world. The pattern translated into a simple mathematical sequence, a universal constant used by civilizations to demonstrate intelligence, the Fibonacci series. In other words, whoever or whatever was communicating wanted us to know they were intelligent. NASA has officially neither confirmed nor denied this transmission, but multiple astronomers from independent observatories have publicly verified receiving this same echo. And here's where it gets even darker. Since the reply, the brightness of 31 ATS has increased threefold, as if powered on. The smaller objects behind it have repositioned, forming a geometric array consistent with satellite formations used for planetary approach. In short, it's preparing for something. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Ethan Carr summarized the terrifying possibility. We may not be witnessing a collision at all. We may be witnessing an arrival. Now, all eyes are on Mars. NASA's orbiters are transmitting nonstop, scanning for anomalies, while secret emergency meetings at the UN discuss extraterrestrial contingency protocols. The public only knows fragments, but those close to the data say the timeline is accelerating. 31 ATS isn't slowing down anymore. It's changing direction, adjusting its vector slightly, almost like it's locking on to something. And the horrifying truth is that no one knows what happens next. If it strikes Mars, the impact could alter its orbit or trigger atmospheric collapse. If it lands, humanity will face a question we've feared for centuries. Are we alone or have they just arrived? Whatever 31 ATS truly is, comet, machine, or messenger, its path has brought it closer to Mars than ever before. And when it reaches its destination, the universe may finally answer back. The countdown has begun.